Hi, my name is Katarina and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, please subscribe and welcome. And if you're not new here, um, it's good to see you again. Um, a few of you requested that I did a video on how I stay organized, how I reduce stress, how I get ready for finals. Like a bunch of people actually just requested like that, those like individually. So I thought that I would do that for you at, because this week I'm, I have a bunch of final projects that are due and then I have Thanksgiving and then the week after that's pretty much like my finals week. So I will show y'all my best tips. So my first tip is to get your room or your space organized. So sorry my bed is a mess. I normally make it like first thing when I wake up but I'm cleaning my sheets so it's kind of like organization I guess I'm washing my sheets right now but I'm a big believer that a clean space equals <coughs> a clean mind also think of it this way I'm very much someone that if I'm procrastinating I look for everything else that I have to get done besides the work so if my room is unorganized then I'm just like I'll like sweep I'll vacuum I'll mop I will you know, do my laundry even if I don't need to do laundry. <clears throat> I basically just distract myself from doing the work if I really don't want to do it. So my second major tip is get a planner or like plan in your work to a Google Calendar or something. I don't know. It's your preference, but I'm someone that works better with like, where like I can physically check something off of a piece of paper. So get yourself a planner. Anyway. This is the planner that I have. It's from Erin Condren. You can like choose what color it is, what design it is, what it says here. I chose this, but normally I think people put their names or something. Um, and then it has like all of the months. This is a year and a half planner, so it's pretty big. So this planner has a quote at the beginning of each month. And then like a whole, I honestly don't really use this often, except for maybe like birthdays, but like I didn't do it this this month so just ignore this page but yeah they have a month and then they have um like this page where i do events goals and then affirmations um and then you can also like do like a little bullet journal thing if you're into that here and then they have the weekly or the daily weekly and daily um so the way that i organize it is i have it as um educate or like any sort of school that i do personal so that would be like tiktok youtube instagram anything or like working out anything like that and then um anything that i have due and then down here like if i have like a presentation or an exam that's where i would write that and then um here i just highlight the week that it is and i put a goal and why and this one's kind of cheesy but yeah <laughs> so today is thursday and this is what i'm gonna do today i'll probably end up doing more but as you can see, I already did what's due today. And then this is the stuff that I'm planning on doing today. And then this is the personal stuff. You can even like make your own like schedule on a piece of paper. Um, you don't necessarily have to buy a planner, but like I just really like Erin Condren planners cause they're cute and they keep you super organized and they have a lot of different um, like layouts if you want to switch it up. So yeah, that's like a major tip of mine. <laughs> My next tip is to fuel yourself. Obviously, you knew this was coming if you follow my Instagram and my TikTok. Breakfast is key, y'all. It really is. Like, your brain literally just doesn't function without breakfast. So, or without just a meal. Like, if you're not hungry, I get that. But, like, pack something. 
if you're like going to study somewhere or like just make sure you're eating when you are hungry please anyways my details for the oats are oh those oats with cinnamon and honey and i mix that all around and then i put frozen blueberries um peanut butter from trader joe's i do unsalted unsweetened just because i'd rather add salt and sugar if i'm gonna sweeten it or change the flavor at all and then put cinnamon on top and then my coffee is just um black cologne brazilian cold brew plain with dolce that sweetener that i was showing you and i do unsweetened vanilla almond milk by Malk. also by the way if you're wondering why i'm eating in my room um honestly when i'm doing work like when i'm super busy i tend to just work in my room or eat breakfast eat breakfast in my room and just kind of like get organized i normally like make sure that i separate the two and like i'm eating mindfully and i'm working mindfully that kind of thing but when i'm super busy it, it doesn't really stress me out to just like go through my to-do list another thing i really like to do while i'm having breakfast is my gratitude journal and my meditation book so this is journey to the heart basically you just get a passage every single day that like just kind of sets the tone for the day it's sort of like a meditation so today is november 19th and it's awakened to the storyteller within and then you just read that whole little passage that's under november 19th and it just i really like this it kind of sets the tone for my day if something's on my mind and it relates to the passage then that always helps and, and then if something in the passage is not on my mind then it always just kind of you know makes me look at things from a different perspective and then the other thing that I do is my five minute journal. I just find that this really sets the tone for the day and kind of like, honestly in a weird way, like just gets me ready for the day. It gets me focused. It gets me, you know, thinking about the good things. So yeah, I'm gonna eat while I kind of do like get organized and get my brain in the right place. tip that i just like have forgotten put your phone in another room or i put it like in my desk drawer get it out of your sight out of sight out of mind that's probably like breakfast and that are probably like my two biggest tips for like actually being successful with doing work so yeah so i'm about to go to um a coffee shop and sit outside because that is my next tip find a place that's outside of your room at least like maybe in if you have like a house or an apartment with another room designate one area for your work and one area for your rest and sleep and everything i seriously work so much better when i separate my room from like my workspace so when i go to this coffee shop i just for some reason am so much more productive i don't feel like reaching for my phone i don't feel like you know procrastinating that much i mean it depends on the day obviously every day is different but the general trend is that i tend to do my work more there so yeah i'm gonna go and i'll bring y'all along with me and show you of way too warm for a sweatshirt but whatever i guess it'll do so it turned out to be way too hot to be outside i think i just overestimated how cold it was outside um another thing that i like to do is find an empty classroom where no one's been no one's working um i keep my mask on when i'm in the buildings though um but that's fine with me it doesn't bug me that much Okay, different setting, I'm in my car, but um, my next tip is to take breaks. 
Um, this looks different for everybody, but my version of a break is like, for example, I like to go for a walk or I like to watch a TV show, kind of like something mindless. Um, but today I decided to do a 40 minute infrared sauna session so i just arrived here yeah i'll bring y'all in and show you guys the sauna and everything but um i have a 40 minute sauna session i'll go home and work out and then we'll see what else i do <laughs> why i'm all red and sweaty in the face that felt so good i feel so nice and relaxed um and like feel like i can i'm ready to do more work now but the reason that i encourage breaks so much is because if you don't this is honestly with anything if you don't schedule a break or like schedule some sort of balance you're gonna burn yourself out and it's gonna be so much harder to like get back on track so that's why i make sure that i either schedule um, my days where I do all my work in the morning and then I give myself the afternoon and night um, as a break or like days when it's like this where I'm most likely going to need the entire day to do work I try to schedule like 40 minutes or an hour or so to do something like this for myself so I'm actually going to go home and do a workout so that's kind of part of my break too and yeah it's so important um, well, I just wanted to end off the video, um, because my last, my final tip, probably one of the most important, I said that about all the tips, but, like, this is just an important tip for everything. Creating a good sleep schedule, especially during times of stress, like, prioritizing it is so important. Stuff that helps me is, you know, setting boundaries of how long i can look at screens before i go to sleep that kind of thing so like i stop looking at my phone like 30 minutes to an hour before i go to bed i like to journal or read before i go to sleep i i haven't done like my skincare or anything yet but having a good like night routine before you go to sleep even if it's just like a five or ten minute thing it really makes a difference so yeah that's my last tip prioritize your sleep i know so many of us that are young think that it's overrated but it's not and it's amazing and honestly I'm jealous I've always had issues with um, sleeping when it comes to anxiety and stress so jealous of you guys that don't need don't need your sleep <laughs> so that's my last tip prioritize rest thank you so much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it this was very requested so I hope I did it justice these are the tips that help me. What works for me might not work for you, but like I used to just freak out, procrastinate, stress during finals, like in high school and at the beginning of college. And now that I've gotten my routine down, I'm so good at staying ahead. But thank you so much. Um, if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. It would help me out a lot. Leave any comments or questions down below if you have any. And I'll also list out the tips in the description in case you want to like look at them all together thanks so much for watching follow me on instagram and tiktok and i love you all i'm gonna go to sleep now because tomorrow i have a long day of schoolwork <laughs> thank you so much for watching bye bye, -bye.